Max Verstappen claimed he'd like to run a few laps on Mark Marquez Honda RC 213V, but Red Bull won't grant me permission, as he sat on the bike during the recently held Honda Thanks Day in Motegi. Welcome to F1 News, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for more updates in the future. When Red Bull's two-time world champion visited his fellow Honda Motorsport athletes at the Motegi circuit last month, images of the Dutchman seated atop Marquez's MotoGP motorcycle circulated on social media. Verstappen was, regrettably, only permitted to sit on the bike. His Red Bull team managers forbade him from engaging in any running. He said, I'd like to try them. These guys are insane, their speed in a straight line is amazing. However, the team won't allow me since I risk breaking my leg. The current world champion was asked if he would go slowly and responded, go slow. I am well aware of myself. I would push if I try, but what if something goes wrong? However, one of the reasons I adore watching races on television is that so many different manufacturers have a shot at winning. Without a doubt, MotoGP is now more competitive than Formula One. During the 2022 MotoGP Championship, seven riders claimed victories, compared to five for Formula One, and five manufacturers won in MotoGP, as opposed to three in F1. The Formula One Drivers' Championship was won by Max Verstappen, with four races remaining, though it was all but decided by race 13, the last race before the summer break, when he had eight wins under his belt and an 80-point lead. Fabio Quartararo and Francesco Bagnaia were neck and neck for the top spot in MotoGP until the very end, with the Ducati racer winning his maiden championship. Compared to Quartararo's three wins, he won seven. This season, Formula One introduced cars that would make the grid more compact and allow for more overtaking possibilities, but it also increased the distance between the front three and the rest in the field. Only four of the ten teams made it to the podium this year, down from eight last year. Lando Norris was the only driver from outside the top three to get a champagne salute, and he only did it once. As one executives are certain that the rules would eventually close the gap between all of the teams, we can only hope that a 2021 thriller won't be available to us in eight years like the V6 era did. Do you think Max and Mark would both be successful if they swapped places with each other? Which one of the two would nail it? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of F1 News. Thanks for watching.